Today we're looking at the past tense. Past tense is used to describe something that's already happened. So, I have done my homework and I have eaten chocolate. So that's something that you have done, or at least something you should have done. The most important verb to learn is haben, to have, and you're going to need this for the past tense. So, ich habe, I have, du hast, you have, er, sie hat, he or she has, wir haben, we have, sie haben, they, or the polite you have. That's the first step. Second step, we need to find something called the past participle. So, step one, we start with the infinitive. This is the verb that you find in the dictionary, and in German it always ends in en. So, some examples, spielen, to play, machen, to do, and kochen, to cook. Second step, we take off the en. So, we do this sometimes in the present tense as well, where we find the stem of the verb. So, we've taken off the en, spiel, mach, and koch. We've taken off the en to get the stem. Step three. We now need to add t to the end and ge to the beginning of the stem. So spiel would go to gespielt, mach would go to gemacht, and koch would go to gekocht. And that is the past participle, so it's not too difficult. Then we need to make a whole sentence. So we started with ich habe, I have, du hast, you have, er hat, he has. And then you send the past participle, once you've figured out what it is, to the end of the sentence. So you have ich habe tennis gespielt. So I have played tennis. Du hast Hausaufgaben gemacht. You have done homework. Er hat Pommes gekocht. He has cooked chips. So as you can see, this is what we call the auxiliary verb. Um, we learnt that, that's the most important verb. So ich habe, du hast, er sie hat. Wir haben. And then at the end, you've got the past participle. If you notice, this does actually go right at the end of the sentence. So we've got tennis, house elf, garden, and pommes in the middle of the sentence. And gemacht, gekocht, and gespielt go at the end. And that is the past participle. There are some irregular past participles which you just have to learn. Essen, to eat, goes to gegessen. Trinken, to drink, goes to getrunken. Studieren, to study, goes to studiert, and sehen, to see, goes to gesehen, and you do just have to learn them.